Hello and welcome back to another game. Today I'm bringing you a team game on Arena. I probably won't do this too often, but uh, was just to me to like, cast this game. And should be an interesting one because on one team playing in red, green and uh, purple, let's Eddie, very well known Arena player, Slam, Tyrant player, very, very strong. And Boosters, I'm not sure if I know him, I think he's like 18, 1900, something like that. I'm not sure they're playing as Goth, Byzantines and Chinese. On the other hand, we have the uh, CZ team, uh, the Czech players, and they're really strong team game players, and they know each other really well. Arena is like their, their uh, favorite map, their home map, and I think they've been really strong in RTS League as well. I'm not sure if this, those players were playing actually, but uh, they know this map really good. They might be on TeamSpeak or might have been on TeamSpeak. Well, let's see what uh, is actually going to happen here. And we're going to start with the, the Czech team, starting with Yannick here on the left hand side. Let's see, we have Tutin's player, the main gold. Oh, Okay, a little bit forward, but uh, there's a forest in between, it should be fine. A second stone inside. Does he have the two, two boars? I'm not sure, and that's about the gold. Two boars are here. Now, the question is whose gold is this? It could be uh, Yannix, and then we have another one here, and uh, two more over the left hand side. This would belong to Skull then, but uh, you never know on these, on these team game maps, uh, at least I don't know. Um, let's check out Ovenka's map here. Um, one gold here, another gold. <laughs> right in between the two players. Slam actually really close to Ovenka. It should be interesting. Ovenka playing as the Persians. Uh, Slam is Byzantine, so you might even see a Monk Rush here. Mm, not sure what Slam is going to do about this. And we have a main gold for Ovenka, very safe in the back. The main stone, relatively safe as well. Barris doesn't really matter. Um, let's check Slam's map actually. Slam is getting deer in apparently. Yeah, he's loading the first deer. I think he used a sheep here. Interesting. One relic inside his base and one relic close to his base, so Monk Rush is actually an option for him. Main gold on the side, there is one gold inside, the uh, main stone, sorry, the main gold very safe inside the back, uh, inside his base, very safe in the back, and the stone here, so I think uh, as there is no more gold close to him, got one inside, this one must belong to Slam, then Ovenka. Uh, gold would be this one and the one between uh, between him and Yannick and uh, Yannick's gold and one of those must be his uh, I think did I, did I say that right now I think he had one gold inside or is this both his gold and uh, so this one belongs to Skull Skull is playing as Saracens uh, a lot of action going on of course I'm not sure if any, anything is happening I won't not care for boar steals right now or anything it's possible of course but uh, for now I don't see any injured scouts I think Slam is luring deer. Uh, that means uh, no stolen boar. Ovenka is luring deer as well. Um, nothing special here. Yannick's map, uh, what do we have for him? Um, he's got one goat there in the back. Um, and he's got uh, deer inside, that's nice. Whereas the gold is forward, so I guess this is his. Uh, one really close to the space. Uh, the main gold and the main stone safe in the back, that's good for him. So actually, Czech team should be really happy about their positions, about their resources. Uh, let's go for boosters now. I'm not sure if it's pronounced boosters. I'm going to just go with uh, this. Uh, Chinese should be interesting. Very strong arena civilization, in my opinion. Uh, not sure how good they're in team game, but Chukunu are just very strong. And um, we don't have anything like like Kels. I mean, Teutons got siege on just Saracens got siege on just. Ooh, that's actually a problem. Uh, we have two uh, civilizations for the Czech team with siege on just and none for the other team. Mm, let's see how they're going to play actually. And I think they just X a lot of gold, or maybe the scout from Eddie who is uh, scouting a skull and even uh, even Yannick right now. Uh, actually, scouting Yannick, I guess, uh, as the pocket here. Mm, yeah, boosters, what do we have? Main gold forward, main stone, okay, second gold inside. And gold wise, this is one of his golds, it's the second, so this one must be uh, boosters, th third gold, quite far away. And then we have Eddie playing as the goth. Uh, one gold, one stone outside the main gold, relatively forward, very small entrance, but he cannot stone wall as the goth. So that's what he has here. Main stone in the back, the main gold we saw, where's the other gold for Eddie? Am I missing one? There's one gold. Um, yeah, that's the problem on team games. I never know uh, who, who's the gold, uh, where's the gold. So maybe those two are for Eddie. That would mean where's Bustos uh, third gold? Does he have one inside that I didn't see? Mm, I don't, I don't, ah, oh, no, there is another one. So uh, actually his gold's not too nice here, but everybody got, got his gold, got his stone. 
And we're about to see the first uh, player sitting in uh, feudal age. Actually, my research, um, like how do I call it? There are not, it's not there. It's bad. Uh, I would love to see those uh, like this. I don't know what the players are going to do. And team games would be really nice to see what players is going to do, like uh, crossbows, unique units, um, do fletching, do uh, scale barring armor, something like that. But uh, whatever, let's see. And um, I'm in Yannick's position, scouted out. Eddie can see the other, uh, you can see Slam Space. And then we have Bustos uh, doing market, market likes right now. Four villages on, on gold is the Chinese, but not on, uh, on, on gold, not on stone. So no castles coming up. And he's housed. Uh, can you click up to Castle Age? Almost. Should, like, garrison? Ah, he needs to, to build a. Uh, to finish the market blacksmith. Um, Slam hasn't scouted uh, too many, uh, too much of the space. He doesn't really need it. He lured two here and he can see uh, the edge of Avenka's map. So if he's going aggressive, uh, he knows where to go. Uh, he's got three villages in gold. I'm sure, uh, and a lot of wood. I think he's going to go TCs. Uh, Ovenka pretty much the same thing. And then we have Skull here. We didn't scout too much of the enemy either or of, of the map. But uh, it's going to change uh, very soon. And we're going to see the first place at Castle Age. Everybody on 29 or 30 population right now. And the question is who's going to go aggressive? We're going to keep an eye on the flanks here. Um, I think we don't see any like barracks, stable, archery range, something like that. Uh, a little bit of scout fights going on, of course. Slam is running away right now. There is uh, Ovenka and Yannick uh, behind him. And first place uh, to Castle Age, Eddie and Yannick are up. Uh, also Skull and Ovenka, Slam and Bustos need a few more seconds, I guess. And I'm gonna go for um, who's in Castle Age. I think it's Skull is in Castle Age. Yeah, Monas point of view. Skull is doing one TC in the main goal. We see a Monastery, He's Saracen, so he has pretty much um, fully upgraded monks, I think. At least every upgrade that he needs for a monk rush. Um, then do we have Eddie probably doing TCs, one on the wood line, one on the main stone. Might see TC number four co up later on. Um, Yannick has the pocket, pocket Teuton. So you're gonna see a huge boom, I think, and then see John has one TC on wood and gold, one TC on the wood line. Uh, farms, very cheap for the Teutons, of course. Then we have Bustos, he's going with the town center on the main gold, one on the main stone. Uh, nothing else for now, as the Chinese probably wants to boom a little bit as well. But he will have to defend here, and we've got two uh, monk civilizations against each other. Bustos can see the monk, Bustos can see the monastery come up, and he cannot stop this, so this four monastery will go up actually. and. Skull is going to go aggressive. Slam. I got one monastery up. He's uh, collecting relics. He's getting the second one in. First one is inside his base already, so he's going to get that safely as well. Uh, do, we have, do we see any more relics? We've got one here and one close to Skull's base, so I'm mm, not sure. Uh, we see TCs. One, two, three, four TCs actually for Slam. Looks like a pretty big boom game. And Ovenka probably doing TCs as well on the main goal, on, on a single wood line. So uh, for now, we have to keep an eye on on Skull, I think. Um, getting a siege workshop. He's going for monks. He's getting first relic in right now and the second one as well. Two uh, monasteries up. This villager won't go down because uh, the monk is there. And the wolf would have won it otherwise, I think. Siege workshop uh, monastery. Who's at uh, in here? That's actually Skull. Scout against uh, Booster Scout. Um, and Skull probably X. Can you can you go here? Not sure if anything's gonna happen. Ah, Yannick is sending the scout actually. And siege workshop Mangana coming out, uh, but Skull is housed. Mm, let's see population 5960 for Avenka right now. As the Persians, of course, he's probably had a very good start. Persian start is really awesome uh, on Arena as well as on other maps, but uh, you pretty much like the start on Arena, of course. And Ovenka, we're on his point of view right now, doing university actually. Looks like he wants to go up pretty soon. Not sure, the early university maybe does, just doesn't want to forget the buildings. And we see a castle come up from the Chinese player, as expected actually. Bustos knows against the monk rush, he either needs monks or some other sort of defense. And the castle, a very nice position actually. Mm, should get fletching, doesn't have it yet. 
Mm, Fletching might help him a little bit. Another mining camp going up on the main gold, which is of course very vulnerable. vulnerable. And uh, Skull will not be able to go into booster space too easy, so he might just switch and go for Eddie. Uh, Eddie, of course, he needs to boom up and then get maybe get a castle uh, up soon as well for 75 stone. He's got the fourth TC on the main gold, um, and then get a castle right on this edge, or maybe get in the back and uh, produce a few Haskells. Not sure, of course, uh, Skull is uh, collecting more relics, and he's actually uh, trying to go in the left hand side. He's probably going to succeed here if uh, Boosters is not going to do anything against this. I think Boosters will have a few um, Chukunu inside the castle. Yeah, the first one's being created actually. And of course he's going to have a very hard time um, freeing himself here. But he might uh, want to continue the boom. Skull actually with uh, 48 villagers against Boosters with 68. So Skull, um, pretty much the only person that didn't go like like fully, at least three TCs, he's only got two, and he's uh, putting a lot of efforts into this, this push. If he's succeeding, then um, Team Slamity Boosters has a problem, because two against three on the Czech team, CSAT team, is your opponent. On Arena, you don't want to have, want to have that, especially seeing that we have Teutons and Saracens on the team. Um, but Saracen's player for now going monks. Um, I'm interested to see how is, uh, how is Yannick doing with the, the Teutons. Let me see, Monastery and University are up. A lot of farms are up here and he's halfway up to Imperial Age. So we should see the barracks very soon. It's up already, another TC on the outside. Uh, they're probably going to put up a lot of, of buildings here to protect those resources. Stables coming up. I think Cavalier Paladin is uh, what you expect here as the f uh, first unit. And Eddie got the castle up actually. Um, just where we expected him. Uh, actually closing this, I think one gap maybe, one tile, a gap of one tile to, to go in, but otherwise very nice uh, castle placement and I think Eddie will go up to Imperial Age relatively soon too. Maybe he's clicked up already. Yeah, just clicked up. Um, TC went down for, for Bruce, it's not too nice for him, his main gold is, uh, cannot be um, mined right now, but uh, he should be fine for now. It's actually, if, oh, he's going for villagers, uh, a few uh, Chukunu uh, patterns coming in, and I think he's going to try and drop a castle probably. Um, just going on first point of view, 800 stone, so he wants to go for, for a counter, surprise attack here. Oh, does, does, does Skull see this? Did he spot it? Um, go for Skull's point of view right now. He can see the house, he can see the Chukunu, and he's Xing immediately saying, hey, my opponent is here. I uh, wanted to build an outpost, uh, very, very, very good um, intuition. And now this is not really a surprise attack, but uh, gate is going down and a few Chukunu are going in. Uh, while the villagers are claiming this gold, a few knights on the way from Yannick. Uh, remember, his Teutons is going for Cavalier Paladin. Mm, plus two, plus four defense actually done already. And ooh, uh, Bustos didn't see this. He has to go back. He wasn't able to to wall the villagers in. This is a very, very failed uh, attack here. Uh, Yannick, the first Imperial, I think, slams up to Imp as well. Mm, remember, he boomed with four TCs. He's going for Cataphracts actually. Uh, did the fortified wall because he's playing against Ovenka, uh, who has uh, has the Persian sea trams already and a few hand grenades on the field. Uh, Mangana coming up for him. Slam actually a pretty nice layout. He might lose a few a few houses if he's not able to defend. But uh, with the cataphracts and probably going for elite cataphracts soon. Mm, as soon as he can afford it, he should be fine. Sea trams moving forward though, and uh, losing a castle if you want to go with cataphracts, that's not that's not what you, you can afford. Uh, that's not what you want to have. Uh, castle also up for a skull here. Now there's going to be a lot of action, and ooh, this gap is still open. That's not good. Bustos will be in trouble because Cavalier might move just into the uh, just move in and go for the eco. And yeah, the village is not going on, they're building uh, farms, not going for the wall yet, now the cavalier are going in. At the same time, the sea trams are hitting the castle, Slam is repairing a lot of villagers, but there's bombard cannons on the field as well. And the cataphracts plus four defense is done, but uh, non-elite, so they're not as strong as you want them to have. Uh, did you just get the elite cataphract upgrade? Yeah, there we go. Ovenka on the other end has a lot of military units out and he's gonna uh, go through those buildings like, like a hot knife through, through the butter, I think. That's what you call it. Uh, also, Yannick is uh, doing uh, some raidings uh, wherever he can find a few villagers. Eddie's spamming a lot of halberdiers right now. and I'm not sure if he's going for um, for Haskells later on. He's just going to spam the helps. Maybe Hand Carineers is an option for him as well. Um, at the same time, Skull, who's up to Imperial Age, is attacking the castle with the trebuchet here. 
And, oh, the Cavalier taking down a TC, that's not good news. Uh, Bustos probably doesn't have any military units, he's got 7, 8, that's a future Kunu probably, but nothing else. Slam is in trouble as well, Tracking doing a really good job here, winning both flanks, and Eddie for now, only Halberdiers is not gonna have the, the power that he needs to just to bust through the, uh, the opponents. Um, Goth, um, Pocket, I guess it, it can be good, but uh, not necessarily. I think Eddie would have been happy with another civilization. Slam getting uh, getting rushed here, getting... Uh, yeah, and there we go. GG called, actually. Uh, wow, that was a short game. 33 minutes and the uh, uh, CSAT team showing how good they are, actually, on Arena. Uh, very nice raiding with the um, uh, Monastery, uh, with the Monk Rush before. And then Yannick with a very fast boom. Of course, as the Teutons, that's what you expect. And they even started to, to build a big team wall here. I wanted to start uh, the trade probably. A lot of stables up. And Slam on, at the same time being rushed down by Ovenka. Ovenka with a really, really strong boom and strong attack actually. Mm, uh, surprised to see that uh, Slam wasn't able to defend for longer. He could have gone for like anything. Elite cataphracts of course are strong, but he could have done bomber cans. He could have done uh, halberdiers, elite skirmishes, everything. He can go for sea tram if he wants to. Mm, elite cataphracts probably not the right idea, but uh, this <laughs> of course uh, Eddie couldn't really help his teammates. Slam was pretty far away from him, and uh, Bustos uh, after the wall was still open and the cavalier going in, losing a TC, not too good. Uh, interesting game, short game, but uh, there's so much happening, so it's so hard to cast alone, uh, the team games alone. Uh, there are really this, uh, so much action going on. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it did uh, a decent job at least uh, casting a team game. And maybe if, if you show me, uh, give me a link to and say, yeah, this team game we have to see because this and that, and I'm going to cast it. Otherwise, I'm going to stay probably on one v ones mainly. I uh, hope you still enjoyed this and see you on the next game. GG.